Well, tonight, a guilty plea from the man who lured, drugged, and killed young Livy Kletsky in a case that shocked New York and the nation. Levy Aaron looking much different today from the first time we saw him in court. He's heavier, his beard is thicker, and he's wearing a yarmulke. Plus, this time, instead of looking down, he is looking directly up at the judge. CBS 2's Tony Aiello was in the courtroom as Aaron answered questions. Did you get anything? Like a towel? All right, what did you do with that towel? He was the center of attention, but also the man who was barely there. Lawyers say Levy Aaron's medication and mental condition prevented him from stating how he kidnapped and killed Libby Kletsky. Instead, Aaron answered questions posed by Judge Neil Firetalk. What did you decide to do after seeing those flyers and returning to your home? The flat affect that you saw today and his uh, very low voice and very shallow words and very few syllables is actually part of, um, part of his mental uh, condition. Lawyers say Aaron is remorseful and fully aware of his enormous crime. He snatched Libby off the street, panicked when he realized a massive search was underway, then drugged, strangled, and dismembered the boy. Did it come a time that uh, Libby was fighting back when you were doing this? Libby's father, Nachman, did not attend court, instead asking Assemblyman Dove Hyken to read a statement on his behalf. Esther and I faced this unspeakable tragedy last year when our little boy, Libby, was ruthlessly taken from us. Today, my family has finally received some partial closure on one aspect of this nightmare. But the tragedy continues to resonate, particularly in Brooklyn, where shopkeepers now post stickers telling lost children they offer a safe space. And parents, such as Joseph Wollander, keep a much closer eye on their children and others. Proceed with caution. Just uh, be suspicious of, every, of, every, of everybody. For the Kletsky family, life goes on and new life will soon arrive. Mrs. Kletsky is expecting to deliver a child next month. Later this month, Lady Aaron will return to court to formally be sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. In downtown Brooklyn, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.